Um, are, are we getting a, a, a far greater slippery slope uh, here in America regarding this, this conscience deal, religious liberty issue? Oh, well, Ken Davis's case is uh, Exhibit A in that. Yes, we are. I mean, and, and she's not the only one. We've got the baker and the florist and the, uh, many others, photographers and wedding chapels, and we're going to have this happen to churches and pastors. This is just the beginning, and the question is, are people going to draw a line and say, enough is enough, this is not the kind of America that we want to live in? Matt, I'm suing Fox Sports right now. They fired me uh, a couple of years ago because of a definition of marriage that I had between a man and a woman that I said 15 months before I even went on the air. They just pulled it up out of my background, and they held it against me. Uh, and and I, I just know from a first-person experience here in this situation, Kim Davis and others have to be bold, and I hope that men and women around this country, if you are being bullied or pressed up, that there are guys like Matt Staver out there who will defend you. Uh, you have rights. We have rights. We cannot. We have to shout back. We have to confront people who are breaking the law. Yeah, we do. Uh, we have to. Uh, we have to stand for people like yourself. You've seen this firsthand. This intolerance. Uh, and what I think most people don't understand, but they're starting to see it now, is that if you even believe that marriage is the union of a man and a woman, uh, that alone classifies you in some people's mind as a hater, a hate group that you can't have employment. You know, back in the 1930s, began with the Jews, where they were evicted from public employment, then boycotted in their private employment, then stigmatized, and that led to the gas chambers. I mean, this is the new persecution of Christians here in, in this country.